Okay, welcome to day 22. Um, <coughs> if you noticed, I got a haircut. My partner, Lynn Back, is cuts my hair so I don't have to spend $20 on a stylist to do it for me. And um, I was trying to think of an idea. Yesterday I did my snowman. And last night I was looking online and a status came in from a friend of mine who said they hate the cold. They want to get rid of the cold. So I was thinking and thinking and thinking and I'm kind of late in making this video today. I was hoping to do it a little sooner. But I have an idea and I know I've already done a skull and I know I've already done flames but I've done this before and here's a reference photo. Okay. I'm going to do a flaming skull but not blue. I'm going to do it more in the yellows and oranges and the reds and stuff. But here's the one thing. I'm going to put down a black base first. And I know I've told you in the past, you always want to start off with a light color and work into the darker colors, right? Well, I'm going to show you a technique that I know that I've used that allows me to put lighter colors on top of darker colors without them bleeding through. So, I've got to have my morning coffee and mmm, that is good. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color everything black. Okay? Now, let me get my black sponge. And I'm picking up some Diamond Effects Black. Make sure your sponge is nice and wet so that you can get full coverage. Okay? And I'm going to start off with the hairline. Get it nice and into the hairline if you can. The higher up in the hairline it goes, the better it's going to look. And if you hear this sound, it's because I have not shaved yet. But I thought since I'm going to be doing this, I might as well wait. I'll shave when I wash all this off. Take my shower. Now make sure you cover everything black. Get in that eyebrow there. Cover it up. I got some bushy eyebrows. Get as close to the eye as possible. I use the underside of the sponge to get as close as possible to the eye without it getting in my eye. Having sharp corners works great when you're trying to get in corners. So once I cover everything black, and I dab it to even it out now, I'm not going to worry about the neck or anything okay now I'm going to take some cheap extra hold hairspray. You can get any kind of hairspray as long as it says uh, where is it in the back here? It should say but uh, this one doesn't and it's got uh, some FDA codes on the back. But the thing is, it's pretty much non-toxic. If you can use it on your hair and it gets a little bit onto your ears or your neck or whatever, and you don't break out from it, then you're fine with it. And this is a trick I learned from a drag queen of mine in Virginia Beach. And he said, if you want to set your makeup, 
No, I'm not gay. If you want to set your makeup, use Extra Hold Hairspray. It's going to seal it in. So what I'm going to do, shake up the can, make sure it's all combined, and I'm going to coat my entire face with the hairspray, wave my hand in front of it so it helps it dry a little bit quicker. I'm going to do a second coat. Fan again so that I can open up my eyes and look at you guys. Okay. So, ah, feel a little sticky. Look a little glossy. If you want to get rid of the gloss, after it's dry, powder the whole thing. And if you're a girl, you can powder it with um, black eyeshadow. Okay? Now, this isn't going to really hurt anything and stuff. I mean, actually, hairspray is great because certain colors, they just don't really pop when they're just dry. So the thing is, you can actually make them pop by... Uh, putting some hairspray on top and it brings out the color a little bit more. Now I know I look really weird with the black face and hold on one second. I'm gonna reach into my bag. I have another color here. Shake it up really good. You can hear it. because of my hair right here and what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to just spray my hair up on the top, a little orange color. I have an orange hair color that you can buy at any kind of novelty store. And If you notice, I'm not spraying in all. I'm doing little bursts. It actually helps preserve your hairspray so it lasts a little bit longer and um, you can use it more. So, don't worry if it gets onto the black because you're going to paint on top of it and it is, you know, hairspray, so it's going to help. So this is just me wasting a little bit of time, waiting on the face to completely dry. All right, so now I got red, orange hair, ah, flaming hair. Okay. So the first thing is, I'm going backwards. I'm using darker colors, working to lighter colors, okay? This is completely opposite of what I told you before, but it's going to come out with a cool effect. So the first thing I do is I want to work on the teeth and then work up. Instead of working from the top down, I'm working from the bottom up. And I'm going to take some red. Diamond effects red. On my number six round. Because I like this brush. This brush has been really good to me. It uh, holds the paint really well. I mean, I'm glad Diamond Effects sent it to me. I'm going to hold it like this because I'm going to put where the mouth is going to be. Now don't worry if you can't really see it that well. It's not going to make a difference right now. Because you're going to go on top of it with, you know, lighter colors as you go on. This just gives it dimension. And 
and using the darker colors on the bottom when you do go to do the face it allows it to blend in together really nice so it gives it more of the flame effect now the way I have this is it's an open mouth so Then I'm going to do the underneath part, the chin part. Now if you do see it starting to pick up a little bit of color, don't worry about that. It's not that big of a problem. This is just for effect. I'm going to outline the nose area. create the cheekbones and like I said this doesn't have to be I'm gonna stop saying that okay just just watch what I'm doing and you'll learn by trial and error And I'm just putting down some paint. Just to give it the effect I need. And the more rough this looks, the better it looks. You don't have to... Flames are not perfect, and flames are all different. So the more different you make them, the better it's going to look. Just use the photo as a reference, but you don't have to completely copy the exact photo.
And I know it's very hard to see right now because the red is kind of blending into the black a little bit. But this is the best way I know in order to do this face, in order to get it just the right way. And I'm going to create... eyes. Now if you notice, it's coming off my eyelids. That's only because the hairspray was sticking together. Now I'm going to go in with an orange. I'm going to use my metallic orange so it really pops the color out. I'm going to just pick that up and I'm going to go on top of everything that I've already done. Now the red behind it is giving it more of a definition. And you can start to see my hairs again from where I didn't shave. Now don't worry, I don't have epilepsy. My hand just shakes and I've told you that before. It's nothing I can control. Now if you see how the orange has picked up a little bit of the red, that's fine. That's what you want it to do. And outline the nose again. Now I'm sure there is an easier way to do this, but I haven't found the way, and I like the way this face looks the way I do it. I've only done it like three other times before, mainly because I keep putting my photo out there for people to see when I'm at festivals, so then they all want it, which isn't a bad thing because it allows me to practice more. 
I'm just putting definition in there. And with this, I'm just going to draw it up into the hairline. It's not going to hurt it. Just allows it to blend with the orange I already have up there. And you notice how it's starting to come out more defined, more looking like what it's supposed to look like. And if you're not having fun doing this, you're in the wrong line of work. You should be having fun. And that's what this is all about. So. Alright, now that I have those colors on, now I gotta put on yellow. And yellow is really gonna make this pop out. And the one thing I need to do is because I did use a lot of green in my yellow, I need to clean it out a little bit. So I'm just gonna take a clean sponge. I'm going to wipe out all this residual color that's in there. You know, it's yellow again, but it had a lot of green and brown from where I was mixing paints. So I'm going to pick up yellow. And this is where the fun starts to happen because this is the lightest color that I have besides the white. And this is going to start to make it really pop out. Now if you notice, I'm not completely covering the orange. I'm kind of highlighting them. And yes, I am going to use white on top of this so it really pops it out some more. But if you notice, I'm trying to do kind of a highlight thing now. I'm using the yellow more to bring definition and character to it than I am actually painting a design. So it actually comes out a little bit quicker to do because you're not going to follow every little thing. You're going to put it where you think the highlights need to be the most prominent and the way it shows in the photo is it's mostly on the bottom edge where the flame is the hottest I'm just putting it in there just to pop out a few little things.
And now my last color that I'm going to use. And if you think it's already cool looking, that's fine. You know, you don't have to do anything more to it. You can leave it just like this. Freak people out with it. Or you can do what I'm going to do and add the white to it, which will pop out. It's the last color that I'm going to use. I'm not going to use any more colors other than this. Okay. The white is your lightest color. It's the one that's really going to make this whole thing pop. All right, you see it's starting to really define more now. And I'm pretty much going right along with the yellow that I have. And at this point, I'm not really applying too much pressure. I'm just doing enough to where it lightly touches, kind of skips on the face. So it creates more of an effect of highlighting than anything else. You don't want to do too much. You want to just do enough. to where it defines out everything you need. All right, so there you go. Now you have this flaming face. And I'm gonna recolor my eyelids black since it kind of came off with the hairspray. Now here's the funny thing because you got the hairspray on your face don't worry about applying more hairspray on top because you used a little bit of water to add in the paints that you used it actually loosened up the hairspray and once you paint it on top of the hairspray it's actually bonding to it chemically and it'll make it smudge resistant again you can go back on top with more uh, light colors if you want. So here's the face. I know you can do the same thing because I've already shown you how. And if you've watched my videos, then you know how to do these. And um, 
I just want to see video responses down below, okay? I haven't received very many and stuff, and I know I keep doing day after day after day. Some people just don't go backwards. <coughs> Some people do. It all depends on their mood. Um, but take a look at my past videos if you hadn't. Go backwards, you know. Um, go into my playlist on my YouTube channel. Go down, scroll down into my uh, blog. Take a look at some of the others. I mean, some of them are really fantastic. Some of them aren't. Some of them may annoy you. Some of them may turn you away and you'll never come back. But most of these, I hope, will bring you back for more. So leave me a video response if you've done one like this. Okay? You can rate and comment uh, down below yesterday's video, tomorrow's video, send me a message, uh, subscribe if you haven't, rate, comment, uh, do whatever you have to do. Let's get this out there, let's get some more people viewing these, and I want to see some more. And don't forget about the contest I have that's going on. Okay, It's my Day 18 contest, you can go back to my Day 18 video and take a look at that and this is for you Terra Fender this is for you Bella Rouge Designs you said it was cold you want to get rid of the cold I hope this is hot enough for you if not oh well but uh, I have made plans to come see you on February 5th my birthday over at your warming party you're having for your new studio so hopefully I'll see you there. I'll see you at Capital Convention too, and uh, less than a week away. If you haven't registered for Capital Convention, you need to do it now. The rates still have not, you know, changed. It's still $169 per person for the whole weekend. The hotel room is still $169 per night, but that gets you breakfast, lunch, dinner, all day Starbucks snacks, uh, different things. They'll have face painting jams, they'll have uh, magicians, balloon twisters, comedians, all kinds of stuff that's children oriented. So if you haven't already done it and you're watching this video right now, you need to go to capitalkidvention.com and I'll put the link into my blog and down here in the info bar down here. And uh, you can go there, check it out, register for it. It's coming up. Uh, it's the 27th or the 28th what is it the 27th through the 30th it's actually the 28th through the 30th Friday Saturday and Sunday but they're having uh, pre-show classes on the 27th and post-show classes on the 31st I think something like that uh, go to the website you'll find out more about it register for it Get in with a Capital Convention, have some fun. You can meet Tara Fender, who I gave a shout out to in this because she wanted something hot and I thought this was hot. So, like I said, yesterday's video, tomorrow's video, rate, comment, leave me a message, you know, post a video response to this if you've done one yourself. Even if it's a past video, I still want to see it in my video response. Um, subscribe if you haven't, rate, comment, and tell all your friends about me because the more friends we have, the better this is going to be. Love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.